Hi Cancers, welcome to Auntie Tarot. Today we're going to do a mid-month love reading for you guys for the rest of February 2024. All right, so we're pulling these Oracle cards first just to get a feel for the energy. We have individuality and attachment that's interesting this is the devil energy so this is a conflict a like direct opposite this person is uh independent sovereign carefree and this person is attached trap chain bind so I wonder if this is you and your person. Maybe you are independent, carefree, and they are trapped, bound, and buying. Or someone's trapped, buying, bound, and buying, wanting to be carefree. So let's see what uh, the, the tarot card will uh, say. Body work. Someone may need to work on their body. There's a deep knowing. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anything else? Current energies for the Cancerian Collective who would be tuning in and watching. Current energies for Cancerian Collective who would be tuning in and watching. What do they need to know in regards to their love interests? Current energies for Cancerian Collective. Okay, so this popped up. Shadow work. Wow, so this is the devil energy attachment shadow work. Someone is working on their shadow work. Okay, so I'm getting sense that your person may be working on their shadow work. They may be attached to something or feeling trapped, something tox toxic. And this is the goal, but we'll see. Okay, so too early. The great cr crumble. Okay, so someone is experiencing or have experienced recently a tower. There's tower energy. Okay, so abrupt change. But the, the purpose of the abrupt change, the great crum crumble in the bigger picture is to push you out of your comfort zone for soul growth. So your person right off the bat, just from what these cards are showing, the energy is soul growth. Uncomfortableness, uneasy, devastation, foundation, you know. Basically when you're building a house, let's say you buy an old house and you wanna rebuild, rebuild it, you have to demo, right? Demolition, tear down all the walls, the old, um, what do they call it? The drywall, right? You knock everything down, you rip the kitchen apart, pull out the tiles, rip up the floor. It's a mess, like crumbling of the old so that you can remodel, rebuild, put in new tiles, new brand new wood floors, new sink, new kitchen. So it's like a makeover, redo. But doing that process is headachey. There's surprises. You rip up the floor. There's rotten water, you know, water damage, rotten wood, you know, unexpected things comes up. So, but uh, it's to rip out all, and there's stuff in the walls. There may be mold, mildew, stuff you didn't even know was, you know, under the floor or behind the walls. So that is the current energy that's um, picking up the grind. So someone's working hard. All right, we have in their shoes again. I think we had that before. All right, so that is the current energy. It looks like tower moment energy. Tower, big changes, uncomfortable changes, unexpected changes. All right, current energies for Cancerian mid-month reading for the month of February. Two of Swords, yeah, conflict. They are conflicted, 
at a crossroad in their life. Now this is the general reading, so the roles could be reversed, but I'm reading from their perspective, you know, because, I mean, you know what's going on with you, so I'm assuming you're watching because you're wondering what's going on with your person or trying to understand, right? So Two of Swords, yeah, they're at a crossroad. They're conflicted. What does this actually say? Frozen with indecision. Yeah, that's why trap buying. Your person is stuck. They're stuck. They are stuck, frozen with indecision, working on their shadow self. Working three, yeah, three of coins working. We have the eight of pentacles, queen of wands. There may be a fire sign in the picture, an Aries, a Sagittarius, a Leo. This fire sign has come up before in your reading thirst for knowledge okay so they're searching they're doing work inner work shadow work thirst for knowledge searching researching also maybe checking you out dealing with um, gossip hearsay rumors possibly as well two of wands charting a course charting a course for their future. Son of one worth fighting for. Son of one, so defending themselves. Battle, struggle. They're struggling still. Struggling. Temperance, perfecting mount. Yeah, so they're trying to get their footing after this uh, unexpected tower moment where their world just fell apart and crumble, they are trying to regain balance at a crossroad, figuring out their life, trying to chart their future, wondering what they're going to do, trying to get, you know, they're trying to get their balance. Kind of like when you're in the ocean, the wave knock you over, you you go under the water for a little bit when you got get back up you kind of have to get your bearings a little bit um, so that's where they're at okay energetically that's what it feels like all right so let's see uh, my pile that I just put over here starts sliding caught it just in time before it fell to the floor all right current messages for cancerian collective who'll be tuning in what is going on queen of pentacles there's an earth energy could be could be a karmic person they're dealing with all right earth energy I want it to do a Celtic cross maybe I'll do it like that so or your person could be an earth and earth person current energies what is going on the moon yeah shadow work okay so your person may be an earth person a virgo a capricorn or a taurus or they could have earth in their chart they're dealing with something some kind of illusion trauma something hidden fears shadow work see there's the devil they're working on themselves illusion delusions fear fear something they can can't see well something that's hidden so that's the shadow work the challenge is the fear illusion something they are not seeing clearly that's why there's that indecision and there's a struggle here and they're trying to balance that's why they're stuck all right Cut the deck. Cut the deck and then right on. Lay out the rest of the cards. All right. Okay. So 
So at the here's this page of swords again. We had a page of swords up here. Yeah, page of swords. So dealing with some kind of gossip. That's the foundation. Right, the foundation of the reading. But they're searching. Okay, so they're searching for answers. Because here, because Page of Swords can be gossip and spying. But on this deck, it says thirst for knowledge. So the Page of Swords came out again. And in this Celtic spread is their foundation. Okay, so they're trying to find answers to something hidden that they don't know. Trying to find knowledge. Searching, dealing and then the recent past, yeah, there was change. Change that happened. So they recently just went through change. And they're trapped. They're buying. Look at this energy here. She's blindfolded, trapped, buying. It's mental. It's a mental. This is the devil energy. She's chained up and this is she's blind. So there's something they cannot see or they cannot see past something. They're stuck because I had picked that up. They're at a crossroad. They're indecisive, frozen. There's fear. They can't make a decision. So this is the near future. No change. Pause. Now, the hangman is normally a pause because they're hanging upside down. It could be a sacrifice. And they're looking at things from a different perspective. However, I read intuitively in, the, in this deck, even though the person is hanging, he's right side up. So this tells me that in the near future, there may be movement because they've gotten this light is coming down. They're getting they they're searching for knowledge, and it just I just noticed this this light coming straight down, and this light coming straight down is hitting their crown chakra, opening up. So whatever they were certain searching for, or their thirst for knowledge, researching looking they're gonna find it to shed light on this this hidden knowledge or hidden something hidden that they're trying to figure out that had blind blindsided them or had kept them trapped in fear that they couldn't see and they're going through a lot of anxiety and stress They're dealing with financial loss. Wow. They're definitely earth energy here, you guys. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They're, they're going through a heartbreak. Some kind of heartbreak, betrayal, devastation. Dark night of the soul movement. This is heavy energy. Heavy energy. Please clarify the Three of Swords because this is the final outcome position and it's the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak. Heartbreak for you or for them? Please clarify. Balance. So they're trying to balance. Harmony, equilibrium. Yeah, they're, they're working on balancing. That's why we had that balance, that temperance. Shadow shadow 
They're trying to balance fear. See, I had picked up fear, fear, pain, trauma, dark night, everything I had picked up, dark night of the soul. Your person is going through some heavy S-H-I-T. What is it? What is it that they're going truth? All perspective in one. Seeing the truth. We do have lovers. Divine counterpart, chemistry, partnership. Okay, so you showed up. So there is a connection, but there they may be dealing with dependency, addiction, attachment, toxicity. Yeah, so there's this energy of attachment. There's this dark energy. The devil show up several times. Shadow, shadow, shadow work. So your person may be addicted to it may be substance abuse addiction attachment toxicity could be dealing with a past toxic relationship that came back feeling trapped i'm picking up whoa oh whoa pity poor pity me they may be feeling like a victim bro feeling sorry for themselves just spiraling downwards wow and they're trying to balance from that. But they're dealing with fear, pain. But what caused this? Oh, boy. So what caused this? I want to dig a le little deeper. Let me see this oracle card. What, what triggered it? Like, what caused it? Did something suddenly happen? Spirit guys, angel. What, what, what was the catalyst for cancer's person to spiral downward does something cause them does something cause them trigger what was the trigger love child okay it was childhood it's from their childhood okay so this is this is the dark energy this this is uh z z Zezzy Bell. I didn't know when I got this deck. I had to look it up. This is the Temptress. So they're dealing with dark energy. What the heck? There could be someone that was um, someone that was um, spying on them or stalking them, dealing with someone or something. Cause see, we have block, spam calls, text, and then we have page of swords, faith, healing, meditation, praying. Yeah, so they're going through healing, going through healing, romance. We do have that. Off and on, hot and cold, detached, ghosted. Yeah, so they're up and down in regards to romance because they're dealing, they have their own stuff that they're dealing with. Look at this. Remember I said I picked up uh, someone could be stalking them? Psycho, crazy, ex-obsessed, won't let go. Oh my God. Holy crap. Backstab, pain, cheating, deception, mind games, love bomb shady all this dark energy we have family funeral could be dealing with a death too heartbreak look okay and they could also be dealing with some kind of a death in the family and heartbreak Okay, so your person is going through a lot of stuff. Heavy stuff. Stuff that trigger from their childhood. Past karmic stuff. They also could be dealing at the same time with a death in the family of someone that they're grieving. Someone they could be close to, like a grandmother. You know, someone that they, they are fond of. Um, that cause a heartbreak in them. 
and then also dealing with past heartbreak they've been betrayed somehow dealing with an ex that may also be stalking them so there's several things going on and then all of this may may have led them to you know even drink even more or turn into alcohol substance abuse even more wow heavy stuff okay so final outcome what deck can i use what will the final outcome be will they will they be able to overcome this nine of wands yeah for movement they will yeah they will six of swords they will move to a better place where there's happiness and emotional fulfillment there's a message there may be a message coming in for you but yeah they're go there's the death again we have funeral and we have death now death doesn't always mean literal death it could be you know transformation the analogy i started at the beginning of the reading where demolition you you buy an old house old fixer upper you have to tear down all the drywall knock everything down rip up the floors knock down the wall fix you know rip out the the carpet the top so they could be going through a transformation and i feel like they are with this going on yeah change change knight of wands again oh king of wands we have knight of wands and king of wands so there could be a fire sign involved because we have the queen of wands there is fire energy and then we have two of cups and two of wands and eight of pentacles and four of wands all right so there is a soul connection here with you and them but it's sort of like on hold on the back burner because they have so much shit going on but it looks like we have two of cups two two of wands eight of pentacles and four of wands which is the twin flame energy commitment celebration um there may be a pause on it though because we have the hangman again yeah they're going through major stress earth sign earth energy virgo taurus capricorn yeah this your person's trying to heal themselves they're trying to get their balance they're trying to get their balance they're going through a lot so i would say they still need some time and space because they're going through a lot or they're just trying to get their bearings trying to get their bearings completion ending results reward yeah independence self-sufficiency freedom sovereign ah it ties back to this i think this is what they're aiming for they're working for individuality perhaps they may have been uh, dealing with childhood wound where you know they were oppressed people were telling them who they need to be what they need to be who they are and they're working on their shadow work and to be their own individual person discovering themselves learning to be self-sufficient to be sovereign independent to have their freedom because because they were chained they were chained chain trap okay so that's what they're working on right now and that's that's why it came out so it usually the tarot reading will tie back to the oracle cards that's showing current energy and i said it was opposite because they they're trying they're working doing shadow work trying to free themselves of this of being feeling trapped by and bound and it may not be physical it may be just their way of thinking the way they were brought up the way they were raised the way they were train their thoughts their thinking and their that's why they were researching looking having a new perspective having that aha moment changing the way they think or view life and they may be 
depressed, hence substance abuse. But they will overcome it. They're going through transformation right now, metamorphosis, and um, trying to gain balance. So that's where they are. So if you haven't heard from them and if you still haven't heard from them, it's some heavy duty stuff that they're going through and it takes time. So I will leave the reading there, Cancerian. I hope uh, you found that helpful and useful. I hope that gave you some, a little bit of enlightenment or some shed some light into your person situation. Wishing you all the best. Let me know in the comments if it resonated. Thanks for watching and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye Cancers.